Our top focus today, the India-Canada row escalates. Two days after, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau accused India of carrying out the murder of a designated terrorist. Tit-for-tat diplomacy has led to India's official visa partner agency in Canada, that is BLS, saying that Canadian passport holders will not be able to avail visa services to India. India has hit out on the move. All kinds of visas have been suspended. The spokesperson of India's external affairs ministry, Arindam Bakshi, said that a degree of prejudice shows, adding that allegations by Trudeau seem to be primarily politically driven. I do think um, there is a degree of prejudice here, of prejudice. Uh, they have made the allegations, they have taken action on them. Uh, to us, it seems or it appears that these allegations by the government of Canada are primarily politically driven. Bakshi also said that Canada has shared no specific information with India on the case. Listen in. Let me also point out that from our side, very specific evidence about criminal activities by individuals based uh, on Canadian soil has been shared with the Canadian authorities on a regular basis but not been acted upon. Security has been beefed up outside the Indian consulate in Vancouver amid threats of attacks by pro Khalistan elements. The MEA spokesperson said that India takes threats against Indian diplomats seriously. While speaking on the visa row, he said security threats faced by the Indian High Commission and consulates in Canada has disrupted their normal functioning. And that's why the consulates are temporarily unable to process visa applications. The notification by BLS says that visa services have been suspended indefinitely. Following the decision of visa services, the Vancouver Police Department says that it is increasing security outside India's consulate. The Canadian High Commission further urged the Indian consulate staff to adjust to the rising security presence.